am older. Ben Gravy, Chris Cote. Sorry for the runaround. I'm hitting you up now. I'm going to re- record my podcast later this evening. So uh, hit me back if you can. If you're around, if you're somewhere chasing novelty radness, I understand. But uh, hit me if you can, please. guys good morning oh, it's 6 a.m. I should be home by like 10 let's ride myself a shout out for completing that entire journey with no speedometer no gas gauge no rpm gauge no nothing i didn't have any information i was just driving but here we are we're on my dad's street so we're almost here guys is it real is this real oh my god no way I'm home. I don't care who you are, how much money you make, what you do, how big of a person you are. Sometimes you just need to be home. The boys. Hi guys. Hey guys. guys um chris cote you probably know who he is he announces wsl surf contests he's pretty big time in surfing he called me and he wants to interview me for his radio show so i am about to call him back i can't believe i missed his call but uh stoked chris i'm excited um i'm not exactly sure how much of this i'm going to share on the show or in the vlog but uh we'll see what he says Media Group. Please leave a message and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Ben Gravy! How you doing, man? I was just on the phone with Strider in the channel at Fiji. No way. Yeah. That's the only person I would have screened your call for at that moment. (laughs) That's pretty gnarly, dude. Hell yeah. How are you? Where are you? I'm good. I'm uh I'm actually I'm back in PA right now. I uh hit a little bit of a travel wall yesterday and I decided to shoot home for a little bit. Sick. I love it. So uh, yeah, basically I just I wanted to talk to you real quick. Um I do a podcast every Monday, the Monday Mass. Yeah. Uh action sports, you know, good shit. 
and obviously I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Oh, dude, thank and you. I wanted to just like get the update. So, all right, we're here with Ben Gravy on the Monday Mass, the world's greatest action sports podcast. Ben, what is your mission? What is Ben Gravy trying to do right now in the world of surfing? Um, uh, that's a that's a more complex uh question than than I can probably answer in a couple minutes, but um pretty much what I want to do in life and surfing is spread positivity and, and stoke. But uh, one of the ways that I've, I've found that I'm able to do that is by traveling to some of the most obscure waves that I can find, things that people have never surfed, things that people don't even dream about surfing or imagine that they could do it and surf them. So I started doing this and I, I got the idea in my head that maybe I could potentially surf all 50 states. A lot of my following started really getting behind that idea. So for the past several months, I've been checking off states across the country and I've gone to the most obscure and weird places, <laughs> things I never even imagined that I would do. And uh, I've been finding some really cool stuff and uh, I feel like I've been growing along the way. So it's been a good process. Like I said, I had to circle back home. I hit a travel wall. Um, so it gets hard at times, but overall, very, very cool and positive experience and, uh, super fun. Hell yes. Um, so I'm a lover of novelty waves, but it seems like you've kind of taken it to the next level, not just novelty, but far flung, like you said, obscure, just random, insane waves. What, what is it about novelty waves that got you psyched to ride these obscurities? At the, in the first place that's i don't know it's such an interesting thing like i when i was a kid i always if i was surfing with my friends like and would say we were surfing on an inlet and they wanted to surf on the ocean side i would always be the guy who was walking to the inlet side to see if there was a wave inside the inlet i was always the guy who would like be looking at the map or like going over a bridge and checking out like the weird ways as i drove down the east coast and for some reason, it's been something that has always been with me. Um, I'm not exactly sure what draws me to it, but when I score a novelty, like something ver very weird and obscure, it can be as cool for me as scoring, you know, overhead barrels with my friends. So it's just, it's one, it's one of those things that I guess you can't really explain, but it's just inside some people, you know, but the cool thing is I, I see a lot of people who, who definitely like didn't either know what novelty surfing was or never cared for it. Um, through my videos, I can kind of reach them and, and get other people into it. So that's been really cool too. Hell yeah. All right, give me your top three scores, the best, your most favorite novelty waves you've ever surfed. All-time favorite of mine is there's a novelty wave by my house that I call El Slamo, and it's almost become like a... Uh, it's in the bay, like between the inlet and like the real bay where there's absolutely no surf and it's a fishing beach. But on East Swells, we somehow catch like a little two foot wedge in there and it's become like a local like, well, novelty, I guess. It's become like a little spot where all the groms come and down and they try to surf and they check it out. And it's become like a little communal thing down there. And El Slamo is just something that's really cool and it's a it's it's special for me down there second to that probably i i consider this probably the the holy grail of novelties is anywhere surfing on the great lakes and uh this past well i get i guess about six weeks ago i had the opportunity to score in erie pennsylvania and it was the waves were actually sizable they were like five feet um full like crazy side wedge storm surge but uh Definitely Pennsylvania is special to me too because it's uh, the state that I was born in. And uh, But I have to say my most favorite novelty wave that I've ever gotten to surf is in Tennessee. I scored it about two days ago. It's a river wave um, and it breaks right in front of like a 200 foot tall waterfall. And it's got to be, it's like the Garden of Eden. It's got to be one of the most beautiful places that exists with a wave standing in front of it. Um, at least, you know, on the East Coast, United States area. Um, but yeah, probably New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and then Tennessee. I love it. All right, and lastly, um, what's next for Ben Gravy? Where are we going? I'm coming. I'm coming with. Where are you going, Ben? I'm coming with you. All right. Um, 
Coming up, I'm gonna be spending a lot of the summer, the early part of the summer, chasing a lot of river waves because uh, in June, all the river waves break because the snow melts in the mountains and it sends a lot of water through the rivers. So I'm gonna be landlocked for most of the summer. In the fall, I'm heading to the Gulf to get Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, those states, and then I'm gonna reevaluate, see what I have under my belt, and uh, keep going from there. I'm about halfway finished all the states. And uh, I vlog, I do a daily vlog on YouTube, um, youtube.com slash bengravy with two Y's. And uh, you can watch every video from the novelty search on there. And uh, you can follow my Instagram too, at bengravy with two Y's. I'm always updating with little videos when I, when I find something special. So those are the main places you can follow me. And uh, stoked for the journey. All right, Chris. Appreciate so, it, man. Yeah, just have a good, uh, have some good time off, man. Stay out of your car for a little while. Yeah, I need <laughs> to. I'm losing it. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks a lot, man. That was Chris Cote, and I was just on his podcast, his radio show. So I'm extremely stoked. That's gonna come out tomorrow. So in saying that, I'm not gonna really go um i'm not going to step on his toes by sharing my vlog because our my vlog and his podcast will come out at the same time so i'm really stoked chris cote thank you so much man yeah thanks love nation for everything um i've been sleeping most of the day because i'm tripping out um and i have a weird rash on my back what it is but i'm guessing it's from either getting bitten by a bug or a river or something in the woods so a little bit concerning but um I think I'm gonna go get some cream. Oh, it's looking a lot better. I'm gonna go get some cortisone cream and try to see what's going on with that. But obviously, I ran myself into a hole and I didn't allow myself to get enough rest. And I hit rock bottom because I'm already feeling a ton better right now than I slept, but I need to sleep more. So thank you guys for the love. Thanks, Chris Cote. Stoked. Check him out at Chris Cote. I'll leave all his information and a way to watch the podcast in the description box. But thank you guys for all the love. Whew, I'm stoked. Oh, yeah. It's NSA butter. The NSA. Yeah, the one nights in Philly. Oh. Cheers. Really good Alright, what's up guys? I've been hanging out, taking it easy. Um, definitely completely whooped and uh, got a lot of bug bites, weird rash on my back, and uh, but I'm feeling better. Um, it's good to be home hanging out with Jordan and my dad. And um, I got a really awesome video today from a guy who submitted it on YouTube for. Um, the Sector 9 Gravy Novelty Contest thing. Um, and I thought it was really funny, so I figured that I would leave you guys with this video, or at least a portion of it. So thanks, Joe Donovan, for the video. I loved it. Um, good work. It was really funny. And, uh, yeah, you just kill it. So appreciate it, and I love you, Nub Nation. Huge shout-out to Chris Cote and the Mass, Monday Mass, Hopefully that you guys can check out his podcast and uh, enjoy that. Thanks for having me on, Chris. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for the day. Here he is. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Good night. Ooh. Good morning, Van Gravy. I got some coffee. Let's talk some shit. Cold Smoke Surfer World Headquarters right here. We're out here in beautiful. Montana. There's a river down there. I don't know if your river tour is going to hit it, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to tell you about my unicorn wave. And this is serious. Coming to my house. Aw, oh, yeah. Coming to my crib. Cold Smoke Surfer, which makes nothing but surf turns in Montana. That's all we do. We don't sell anything. We don't make any money. We just shred freaking cool turns. 
mostly on snow, but other stuff. This house right here, little prerequisite about myself. My name's Joe. I built this house on a TV show so that I could have it. Joe Donovan, an avid skier and adventurer, has decided to build his permanent because that's how I do things, is hustle, just like you guys have your Nub Nation thing, which, by the way, when you say Nub Nation for the win, it's Cold Smoke Surfer for the win. Nub Nation for the fucking win.